Hey everyone, and we are back with set two of these figures. Uh, this is the Premium Bandai version. Again, the only difference between the normal version and the Premium Bandai version is you get this fancy dancy box and you get some stands. Are they worth it? It really depends. My cat has the zooms as well, uh, and I gotta film this now, so you might hear him running around in the background causing a ruckus. Anyway, um, this is what everything in the, this box. This is just the fancy box you get for ordering Premium Bandai. Um, this is everything on the back. You get the three figures, you get the fancy stands. Here's the top of the box, uh, the side of the box, if that's important, fancy barcode and other side of the box. On the inside of the box it tells you how to uh, set up the stands and all that fun stuff. So if that's important there's that. Anyway let's get into doing or opening up these guys and having a look. Okay so we do have these stands that came with them. Um, we'll sort these out eventually. They are numbered. Yeah they are numbered. One, two, and three. So I'm pretty sure it's pretty obvious by the crest which one goes with which. But we'll work out those last. So let's start with uh, Metal Guru one. Now I don't want to destroy the box because you do have to open them all the way to um, get the instructions, but I kind of just look inside. Okay, there we go. There's the gum that, are, that they are required to have in there to be able to sell this in the candy section of the store. Um, I'm not a huge fan of gum, honestly, so there's that. And here is, well the instructions are in the inside there. Shouldn't be too hard to put together. Uh, this is all the parts to Metal Guru one, so let's get them together. So we'll grab them on was easy enough to, no grab them on, Guru Mon was easy enough to build. Uh, we'll get everyone else built and then we'll talk about each individual figure. His, uh, this guy's wing's a bit floppy, which I don't mind actually because I feel like it's better than it breaking. <laughs> anyway, we'll sit him in the background for now. Yeah, this bit's just a connector piece. 
uh, if you got the base, so I'll put that to the side for now. Oh my god, quick, quick little um, thing on this before we go in depth with it. This one's hard to put together. Uh, <laughs> it is def definitely difficult. So yeah, um, we'll move on to the next one and then I'll put the bases together and then we should be good. But oh my god, this one was difficult. <laughs> So we'll get more into depth with him. Uh, he's probably not going to stand, so there he goes. Okay, last one is Alter Kabuterimon. It's a lot of arms. This one was probably a little easier to build, so let's get them all on their bases and stands and we'll talk about each individual figure. Don't forget when making your bases you're gonna need a pair of nippers like these, some side cutters, and you just wanna go boop, boop, and cut out all your pieces nice and flush so you can make your base. Okay, and this is how they turned out after I put them on stands. Bit of an effort. Um, I decided to go with like a kind of running jump for Metal Gururumon, just so that I could use the pieces. Um, I don't know if I'll keep him like this, but that's how he is at the moment. Uh, just the standard Magna Angemon. There's that extra peg piece that came with to put him on this, so that a little adapter is there. And, uh, also, Kabuterimon. No, it's Kabuter Mega Kabuterimon is just chilling on top of his base. So let's go through each one individually. So this is. Oop, he is a bit wobbly because I'm just kind of have him resting on top of here. Um, Metal Gurumon was pretty easy to build, so he's all good really. Um, he had some small little defects like I'll just take him off this base this base is only really good if you leave him <laughs> um, not to show off things like this in the back here that's like a chip mark from when they've cut it off the sprue I, I could easily go and clean this stuff up but this is just as it came in the mail it's like a little speck of uh, paint has been scratched off when I got hit when when I got it um, but yeah, the Metal Gurumon is honestly not that bad. It was pretty easy to put together. His mouth does not open, um, which is, you know, a missed opportunity, I reckon. If I can get the camera to focus, it's just not cooperating today. Anyway, um, that's the Metal Gurumon. Let's see if I can get him back on there. Close enough. I'll fix him up in a bit. Um, this guy was so difficult. Um, I had to remove him, uh, I had to remove his head several times so I could just get things on. Um, the wings are hard plastic, so it's very sharp, <laughs> so when you're trying to put it on it kind of hurts your hands. And I have pretty sensitive hands, I have like, you can see my skin's not perfect on my hands. Um, so yeah, and then the ball joints are very hard to get on to, so it was a bit of a struggle. So I had to put him together mostly off screen. 
but here's him from behind. Now all of these have like basic movement, um, which is great because they already kind of come built. But like at this point, I don't know why they didn't just build the whole thing. I guess it's like the whole interactive thing. Where you build your own thing, but um, yeah. So these soft plastic, it just moves around. Thank God, otherwise I probably would have broken it. Um, I had to take off these bits to get his legs on. It just wasn't happening. So they're just on ball joints on the side. Um, other than that, it's a cool figure, and um. It's just, yeah, it was really difficult to put together. <laughs> but I feel like all the humanoid ones are kind of are. I had the same issues with uh, War Greymon's leg joints. So, yeah, and then Angelman as well, like just getting the joints on. Oh, I will say for um, Metal Gurumon, this guy, his head was very hard to get on um, because it's just on that single peg. What is up with the camera? It's not focusing today. Anyway. There's that. So we also have Kobotarimon. Um, I think his head was on backwards when I first got him, or maybe it twisted around in the plastic. Because yeah, his head just does come, it does come off pretty easy. Just you kind of boop. There you go. Um, but it was around the other way, so I got really confused when I took him out of the packaging. Oop. You should just go in there. I've popped out a arm as well. I'll fix that in a little bit. But yeah, he, he was pretty easy to put together. You just had to kind of pop him together, just a little bit of force. Um, so yeah, he you know, does all his movements. And he looks really good on the base. Whoop, just knocking stuff over. Yeah, but overall, nice set. Um, I don't know if I prefer this one over the other one. I feel, I feel like each set has its like a few good ones in here. I feel like all of them could do with some uh, more detailing, like I said in the last video for the other ones. A little bit more detail would be a good thing. Um, there are little bits and bobs that you could add paint to if you wanted to make these a little bit more fancy. Um, but other than that, yeah, they're really cool figures and I'm glad to have them. Uh, it's taken me a little while to get this video out as well, so yeah, sorry about that. But yeah, once they, uh, once they settled on the shelf, they should be right because you don't want to move these around too much. I wouldn't recommend playing with these that often. I feel like they would just fall apart a lot. Um, they are smartly designed that all the ball joints like uh, have different sizes. So when you're putting it together, you can tell which one goes in which hole um, because it just won't fit otherwise, the different sizes. Um, so if you were to be playing with it or give this to a child, <laughs> um, I guess, yeah, it, it wouldn't be too hard to put back together after it falling apart a million times, but if you were to play with these, these would 100% just fall apart all the time. <laughs> they are definitely meant to be displayed um, and just kind of sit on your shelf and chill out, you know, uh, that kind of thing. Um, again, I wouldn't recommend getting the P Bandai version. I would recommend you get the normal standard retail release. Um, other than Magna Angemon, these two are fine to not have the base. Um, I probably would have displayed Metal Room on, on all fours and I might still do that and just get rid of all the extra base stuff and just keep them on top of the main base loose. Um, I just like having them pegged in so that you know you pick it up and it's all together. Anyway, thanks for watching. I hope I wasn't too all over the place. It's been a little while since I've done one of these kind of videos. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.